Now that you're using MyFitnessPal to log the food that you're eating every day, I want to tell you about two other ways that you can enter foods that you eat so that you can um, choose the one that works best for you. If you're using the app on your smartphone or your iPod Touch, you can scan the barcode of any food that you eat and it will search the database, find that food in the database, and then you can add it that way. The way you do that is to click the button that says um, Add to My Food Log, and then on the bottom right you'll see a, a image that looks like a barcode. If you click on that barcode, you'll it'll bring up a square bracket and um, your um, phone's camera. Then you just point the camera at the barcode and center it in the, the bracket and hold still. It'll search the database, find that food, and then when you're sure it's found the one that you want, you click on the check in the upper right hand corner and it'll add it to your log. So anytime you're eating something that has barcode on it, like um, maybe a granola bar or a candy bar, or like the oatmeal that I had for breakfast, um, uh, I could scan the barcode and then enter it into my um, food log that way. Another way to use the MyFitnessPal website to log your food is to enter recipes that you are cooking at home. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. You click on food and then uh, towards the right it says recipes. There's some recipes that I've already entered down here, but now I'm going to make something new, so I have to enter the recipe. There's two ways to do that. If you're using an online recipe, like this one that I have for Parmesan roasted potatoes that I found on Epicurious, you just um, copy the URL for the recipe, for the website, and then you paste it into this URL box, and then you say import recipe and it's imported all the ingredients that are listed in the recipe and the number of servings. So you need to double check and make sure it got the servings right and then you say match ingredients and it's going to go through and try to figure out what all those ingredients were in the list. And for this one it thinks it was successful but you still want to go through and double check. Like look right here it says three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes and they have 300 grams which is half of a medium potato. Well, that's not right because we want three pounds of potatoes. So we're going to edit the quantity and say instead of 300 grams, we're going to say pounds and we're going to change the 300 to three. And then we have it right, three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. And then we'll go through and double check the rest of them just to make sure that they're right. And I've already done that, so I know that they're correct. And so I'm going to say save and it's well, wait a minute, something's wrong. It says there's 3,000 calories per serving. Hold on. No, nope, it's it's right. It's 315 calories per serving, which is about correct. So um, here's that recipe in my um, recipe box now. And so when I do eat those Parmesan roasted potatoes, I would just click on log it, and it would ask me what meal I had those for dinner, and I had one serving. And now I log it, and it will be there in my log with um, my dinner. Another way to add a recipe is to do it manually. So if you're using a, a recipe out of a magazine or out of a cookbook, you can enter it this way. So you type in the name of the, mag of the recipe, Greece uh, Greek style chicken wraps is what I'm going to make and this recipe is for six servings. So I just click in that box and type six. And then you would just type in your ingredients right here, one per line. I've already typed those out, so I'm just going to go over here, copy them, come back and paste it into there. And then we're going to try to match those ingredients and see how it does. It's working. Now it um, found most of them, but there were two that it couldn't figure out. So olives, Kalamata olives, those are the ones, and we want three uh, tablespoons. And it doesn't give you the exact um, uh, proportion that you want, so three tablespoons of chopped olives is probably like, I don't know, I'm going to say ten olives the best estimate that I can come up with and then I'm going to just check 
that these are quantities are all correct and ingredients are correct as I go. And then there was one more that it couldn't find. Classic hummus, six tablespoons. And that's what I want, six tablespoons of hummus. So that's right. And six tortillas. That all looks good. So now I'm going to save and it's going to put the Greek style chicken wraps in my recipe box and then when I eat that I can click log it and put it in the right meal. So that's two additional ways to log food that you've eaten into your food log on the MyFitnessPal app.